Well, here they are, the deadliest animals on Earth. I know they don't look like much, but mosquitoes are certainly not to be underestimated. There is no animal that causes more human deaths than this. Now, they actually start off like these little wriggling worms. These are mosquito larvae. And they will hatch out and live in still, stagnant water. The adults eventually erupt into this winged form. It's only the females that actually bite you, and they do that when they're ready to produce eggs. And when they do, that's when all hell breaks loose, because they carry a parasite in their saliva, which can create the disease malaria. The mosquitoes in this lab don't carry malaria, so I'm going to get one to bite me. Do you have any preference where you'd like to be bitten? Right there. That's my okay. favourite spot. With our special macro lens, you're going to be able to see how exactly this hungry little girl goes to work. The mosquito injects me with its incredibly sharp, needle-like mouthparts. These are made up of two tubes, one to inject an enzyme that inhibits blood clotting, and the other to suck blood into their body. They also inject an anaesthetic so you can't feel any pain of the bite until it's too late. And once it bites you, it gets bigger and bigger as it fills up with blood. Though there are some treatments for malaria, the disease, the best thing is simply not to get bitten. And to avoid getting bitten, there are repellents. Now, we've come up with a special deadly experiment to see if these work. Just over there is a sealed room and the whole crew are going to go in there using one of these repellents. Um, we're going to fill it up with mosquitoes and see how many times we get bitten. Can't quite believe we're going to do this. Um, okay, Ruth, my director, actually reacts quite badly to mosquito bites, so she's getting the full-on repellent with a high percentage of the active ingredient, DEET. This genuinely does work. So there you go, Ruth. Okay, next up we have a herbal remedy. This one is based on eucalyptus. I'm going to give this to Ash, my cameraman, because it's his job to make me look good and I don't want him distracted. There you go, Ash. Now next up we have some slightly more suspect cures. We have garlic. Apparently eating lots of garlic keeps the mosquitoes away. So Lizzie, my researcher, is going to cover herself in garlic paste. Thank you very much. <laughs> and last of all, B vitamins are said to get rid of mosquitoes. So we're going for something that's high in B vitamins. Simon the sound recordist is going to cover himself in Marmite. Cover myself? Can yes. you do it for me? Absolutely not. That is not in my job description. OK, guys, get stuck in. As the crew cover themselves with repellents, I decide I'm going to be the control and go without. Right then, come on in. So... This is our prison cell for the next few minutes. Not particularly sure I want to be locked in here with Lizzie. She honks. It's <laughs> your fault. OK, James. All right, good luck, guys. OK, so the mosquitoes are at large. And they're already heading straight for me. And they're all settling on Ruth's head. <laughs> With the parasites free and hungry, who would they decide to feast on? It wasn't long before the mosquitoes started to land, and it was Simon and Lizzie they chose. It seems marmite and garlic are more of an attractant than a repellent. And on closer inspection... No. Ruth, Ash and me were of no interest to the mosquitoes. Well, I think it's clear that actually only the chemical repellent really works, but each individual human being definitely has a varying degree of attraction to mosquitoes. And I seem to be a living, walking mosquito repellent. Well, it's all good news.